first thing first, let me just wish everybody like you know happy holidays. You know that's all I'm gonna say when it comes to that. Um, because I'm not the type that believe in Christmas or either celebrate none of these pagan holidays or anything like that. It's just use. This ain't nothing but just you know typical white supremacy type things just for all that to make profit off of which is basically labor so with that said let me go ahead and continue what I got today is I'm going to do like two two stories on, on one of them one of them is old and one of them is recent but the first one that's old is basically an epic fail and it's basically based around the so called superior races high IQ which we know they don't even have now what you see is a picture of a flyer inside a ziplock bag and the obvious uh, character caricature on there happens to be that of a Ku Klux Klansman well this was taken in a picture in the yard, yard in New Smyrna Beach Florida um, which is about up in like um, right between Central and North Florida. Um, we, we're not to New Smyrna Beach is like a little bit down from Daytona and right between Daytona Beach and Deltona, something like that. But anyway, um, this was a fly that was dropped in the yard um, of residents. Because in case anybody doesn't know that New Smyrna Beach happens to be a predominantly um, black neighborhood, black community. Historically, it's always been that way. I've known about New Smyrna Beach for years and stuff. You know, used to travel it to, through there a lot just to go to Daytona for, you know, black college weekend. Fellas, ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway... Let me just pull the story up and it be like this. This is shows you how dumb these idiotic Peckerwoods is. Now, you can see it was dated um, in 2013, but it's a major epic fail, man. <laughs> let, me, let me read it to you. A Ku Klux Klan group from North Carolina that's trying to recruit members from New Smyr Smyrna Beach targeting a predominantly black neighborhood. <laughs> Leaders passed out hundreds of flies near North Myrtle Street over the past couple of days. Resident Tim Washington said he was headed to work Monday when he, something stopped him in his tracks. He said, I saw, saw that it was a piece of paper on the ground and it had hate stuff written on it, Washington said. Washington was the recipient of a flyer from a North Carolina Ku Klux Klan group seen during an August cross burning. Now, officials said that the group sent the flies to a Florida KKK group and leaders dropped hundreds of them in a new Smyrna Beach neighborhood in the effort to recruit new members. Woo boy! <laughs> Many people came outside Monday morning and found them in front of their homes. The flies read our race is our nation and includes a picture of a member dressed in the distinctive KKK attire, which is distinctive of that of the Roman Catholic Church. That's where they got that shit from. I'm going to be honest with you. You got to know the history about this stuff. I think it's shallow this day and age, <laughs> but I don't think Washington gets it. Washington and at least three other residents called police to report the suspicious fines. Neighbors were shocked that they were they were left in their area. <laughs> now, here's the funny part. KKK leaders Robert Jones said over the phone that members dropped the flies at night, so they had no idea who lived in the neighborhood. You know, you said that this was a recruiting effort. However, your group targeted a predominantly black neighborhood. X Channel 9's Ryan Hughes, which is W uh, FTV 9, ABC, which is up in North Florida, her sister station. Say, well, we don't have no way of judging where we put the flies at. John said, uh, John said Erica Blount does and has her own message for the, for the group. Stay away from our neighborhood. We live here together. 
all different races, Miles said. Now, the group plans to pass out 600 flies in this area in the coming days. The leader said the group hasn't recruited anyone from the immediate area yet. <laughs> so, the immediate area, so that means, it tells me in, from the story that, <laughs> that, um, that is not most predominant. It's probably got some white people there, some Latinos there, stuff like that. I, I, I totally get it. But it goes to show you that that high IQ must be working for them real good. Because why the fuck would you go ahead and drop flyers in a neighborhood that's historically known for being predominantly black? That's like going into the Bronx dropping flyers. That's like going in the south side of Chicago or or West Baltimore or something like that. Or even here. I mean, that's like you going dropping flies, recruitment flies in Liberty City and Overtown where I'm from. Or Brown Sub. You know, or Opalaka. Or Carroll City. Well, not known as corporate, it's incorporated as Miami Gardens now because, you know, like I say, you know, these cities, that's all they is, nothing but corporations and municipalities. But then again, that just goes to show you that the, the, the crackers, man, they, they so-called high IQ is not that great. It is, it is totally not that great. But I always found this shit real, real funny. Always found that shit real funny, bro. You know, but it's like this. Whether it's new clan, old clan, there's still a bunch of ignorant hillbilly, hillbilly duck dynasty hicks. You know, that fell for that same old rhetoric that Lyndon B. Johnson put out there to have them think that another demo graphic is stealing their jobs away from them and committing all the crimes and all this other stuff like that. And I just did a story on um, last night and I sent it to uh, Lisa Cabrera about like the fentanyl rise that's going on here in South Florida. Hell, throughout all of Florida to be honest with you. And you know <laughs> and look how high that is among them. You know but the other story, that one that really got me, was uh, this one. Uh, this was one, hey, y'all got to hold on to your laugh on this. This was crazy. And, unfor and unfortunately, it had to come from these idiots. You know, y'all know who that is. Fox News, a.k.a. The Klan. Very much high IQ. <clears throat> yeah, right. Anyway, this was the story coming out of uh, Galesburg, Illinois, you know. Uh, <laughs> Whoo, y'all gotta read this. You know, you all read the title. Drunk driver tells cops that his name is Burger King. I mean, you know what? Burger King, I, I may not even want to go eat that anymore. <laughs> hey, this was a trip. I caught this on... On Saturday Night Live with uh, Weekend Update with with um, Colin Jost and Michael Che. Oh, God, they had you rolling, you know. So let me just get into it right now. Now, a man in Illinois had a case of mistaken identity <laughs> where police officers approached him after he crashed his car in a ditch. Now, police arrived at, at a scene... Uh, the place was called Showgirls or Gentlemen's Club um, at 12.49 a.m. Friday after being notified of a man driving erratically in the parking lot. Yeah, he had too many shots of Patron. Almost hitting a pedestrian, patron, and then crashing his car. Now, when police approached the Galesburg, Illinois man, he claimed his name was Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> He claimed his name was Burger King. Now, <laughs> now according to the reports, the 30-year-old, 34-year-old Bradley S. Galloway, see, 
This is how you know it's a white guy. <laughs> they ain't showing his picture. <laughs> and I don't know any brothers no named Bradley and last name Galloway. Well, except Joey Galloway that played for Seattle at the time, but that's about it. Because ain't no brother I know named Bradley. Told officers his name was quote unquote Burger King and he smelled like alcohol. Officers know the Galloway eyes were bloodshot and glassy. <laughs> so Galloway failed to cooperate with officers or medical personnel, refused medical assistance. During an inspection by the EMTs, Galloway made racial slurs toward the paramedics multiple times. Yep, definitely a cracker. Definitely a cracker. You know. So he let's get this straight. He was he was resisting arrest, being belligerent, refused medical assistance, and shooting racial epithets. Then the man refused to stand up by himself and required police to carry him into the police station. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't let his ass crawl in there. Now, here it would get real better. Galloway continued to make several unusual comments, including the one saying Donald Trump is coming to beat up the officers. <laughs> So eventually he was transported to the hospital. You should have took him to the damn site asylum, um, where he implied that a doctor was coming to give him a million dollars. Oh boy, this just get keep get better and better. Now when he was transferred back to the county jail, Galloway told officers, Oh boy, you all believe in Satan, you all worship Satan, you all driving me to Satan's town. <laughs> I tell you, boy, let's see. The man faces charges including driving under influence, resisting arrest, reckless driving, failing to reduce speed to avoid an accident, and operating an uninsured vehicle. Witnesses alleged earlier that they tried to take his keys away from when Galloway left the showgirls bar, but were unable to. Now, what else they didn't tell y'all either, either throughout this whole story, either that the police did use tasers on him. Well, I guess that gives a new meaning. You know, they the police had had it they have it their way with him. <laughs> well, I, I, I can tell you that. I mean some of the, the comments though. That I, let me read some of these comments. These comments were unbelievable. You know, this one one right here by Crump. Uh, 014 in jail he'll be fresh meat and join the other Wendy's <laughs> <sighs> and the other one brick freaking deal said haha my name is Taco Bell I don't like you Burger King uh, This, I think this was the best one I said like you know guess he'll be getting his whopper now <laughs> Hey, they 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 go in when it comes to this stuff, you know. And I agree with Lady Fair. Wow, totally Looney Tunes. Yeah, I know, right? And then somebody said, you know, another guy said, "Time to change his name again. This time to Phil McCracken." Let me see. There's supposed to be some more comments. I think it's something better than this. <laughs> yeah, he said, 14 said, my name is Burger King. You certainly telling a whopper. Boy, look at here. <laughs> and I told y'all that they used tasers on the dude. The guy asked him, did he come with fries? And they said, the guy replied to him, no, nope, but he was fried. And then you got your little joke to my saying, oh, well, the guy was mentally ill and was full psychosis when arrested. No. 
man, and and uh, in quizzical two hundred seven reply note, the motherfucker was was in a drunken stupor, and he was. Rest of them. <laughs> oh, this is good. Yeah. You had a right to remain silent, Your Majesty. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's the comments. I know it's going to. This one, wait till he meet his cellmate, Big Mac. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm gonna tell you, Burger King, boy, look at here, they they gets no love, boy. There's no, they they have no filter when, when it comes to this. I mean, this was in Galesburg, Illinois. You know, I don't know much about Galesburg, but it sounds like one of them little racist small small towns or whatever like that. You know, that I'm just saying, you know, like I said, I'm not from Illinois, so, you know, like, you know, maybe Harvey Superboy 223 could probably help me out on that one. But it, this is just like, that shows you how much the high IQ, because see, when it comes, it goes back to the video I did <coughs> of the 2016 FBI crime in the U.S. stats. When it comes to drunk and disorderly conduct, whites lead the majority in that. You know, assault and all this, they lead in that. But you, but you best better believe that it was more than alcohol involved in this shit. Shoot, hell, um, <laughs> shit, you best you, you got the opioid epidemic run rapid through there too. Fentanyl as well. But if you think it's something, don't Burger King don't feel bad because we got it bad here in two in South Florida. Let me just put up the other video. Give me one minute. Now this was even worse. I still remember this from back in 2015. Thank God it didn't happen down here, in Dade County, Anthony Palm Beach. <laughs> The picture. <laughs> this was, yeah, like I said, only here in Florida. We we get it the worst. I'm sorry. I love my home state, but god damn. I mean, ever since, you know, they screwed up the 2000 presidential election, it hasn't been right since. Anyway, let me go with this. You know, even the, even the editor got in on this one. Weird. I mean, like, you know, and as de as decent in decent exposure cases go, this one's is a whopper. What did you look? Now, Florida man faces indecent exposure charges after his spoke. God damn, you can tell this satire though. You know, after allegedly keep him word he were allegedly exposing his hot dog. At the home of the Whopper. Oh, real, yeah, real brilliant. I could have figured that one out myself. Jefferson King, <clears throat> 33, was arrested Thursday after a customer at the West Palm Beach Burger King uh, reportedly saw him playing with his sex organs at a seat near the restroom. Okay, that's gross. The woman told police when she asked King what he was doing, he replied, What on what? I'm playing with my penis. Oh, well, look here. Ladies, you may want to put your kids to bed on this one. The woman then complained to a manager who asked King to leave. However, King allegedly refused to move from his seat and kept playing with his genitalia. Um, so officers were called to the scene. So now when they questioned King, they claimed he said he had not done nothing wrong. 
Now, King was then taken to Palm Beach County Jail, booked on one count of decent exposure, released on Friday after posting a $1,000 bond, but not before posing for a very memorable mugshot. That one. Oh, I tell you. But that's just, that's just was one. But, you know, that's just something we like though. But it is, it, it goes back to the original thing, what I was trying to say. You know, some of our people, you can't help. I'm going to be honest with you. Some of our people, you, you can't help. You got to lead them right where they at, you know. But we're not trying to be on here making videos to try to save everybody, you know. Some people, you they beyond help. They beyond the sunken place. They beyond the sunken ditch. So, you know. But this one was just hmm, crazy. Because, like, I can tell you like this. The thing here in Florida, no thanks to that no good governor we got. We got too many damn pedophiles and other t joke potential rapists running loose right here. Which is one of the reasons why we have 1.4 million uh, concealed carry weapon owners in this in the territory of Florida, <clears throat> but back to the high I, the so called high IQ idiots who don't know anything and they um basically don't know no better. But anyway though, um before I sign before I sign off and um because I got to do another video dealing with the fentanyl epidemic. That's running rampant here in South Florida. And people don't even know this. It's been running rampant for years, months here. I want to go ahead and I'm going to leave y'all with this. Let me just get it real quick. In our homes. It's time we stood up and said no more. No more. <laughs> belong to an organization that is dedicated to protecting our rights. However, through the years, this organization has been misunderstood and misrepresented by the various media. So before you jump to any preconceived conclusions, please hear me out. Now... <laughs> 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 Behind 100%. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. We're trying to get the scum out of this building. Right on, bro. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, I told you this little guy is dynamite. You tell him, George. No, 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 no. You listen to these guys because they are talking my language. <laughs> You've got to get people like that out of here. Damn right, we've got to get people like that out of here. And the only way we're going to do it is by joining together. You're not joining anything. This happens to be a KKK meeting. You bet it is. But everybody in here is proud to be part of KKK. What? <laughs> the scum we're trying to get out of this building is you, boy. Boy? supremacy, but not through violence. Well, that's all you bigots have ever taught is violence. Um, that's the old plan, not the new plan. The garbage still stinks no matter how fresh it is. Good one, Mr. Jay. <laughs> okay, you want to talk about garbage? I'll tell you what's garbage. The people on welfare living off white people's money, that's garbage. The people who are robbing white stores, tearing down white schools, there's your garbage, mister. You, you personify garbage. None of that is true. You know, this was an old one from when I was growing up. Any one of the lessons I learned, what I learned today now at 49, I learned it early by watching shows like this. If you were born in the late 60s, I was born in 68 and I came up in the 70s. The Jeffersons was about as real as it got. You know, it's just plain and simple because the reason why I play this like this, this is exactly what Fox News is about. 
pushing a right wing racist uh, propaganda, and the left as well. They both they both got the they both got KKK on both on both left and right. Same dirty bird. Anyway, but that's that high IQ when it come down to their type. You just hope by saying it enough times, people will begin to believe it. You don't know what you're talking about, Tom. Oh, really? Well, for your information, I happen to be married to a black woman. And then, sir, understand. you are a black man. Now get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and take that foreigner and your nigger-loving friend here with you. Oh, well, that's enough. Now, uh, hold it right there. It's one thing hearing it from you, but when you start feeding that trash to your kid. My son knows the truth and isn't afraid to speak it. Now, we'd appreciate it if you'd leave, because we don't like talking to Negroes. Don't worry, you have to do no talk with my fist shoved down your throat. <laughs> And you call me violent? Well, you are living proof that white is right, that we are superior, that white supremacy is the salvation of its country. Damn! Damn! It's his heart. He's got a bad heart. You took the CPR course, can't help it. I, I don't know, we left early. Does anyone know what to do? Please! Go, go, go find up quick, right?
race has got to stick together. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Y'all just go ahead, share, subscribe, find where in the comment comment section. Make sure you have your notifications turned on. Also, you can check it out over my Patreon account as well, as well as donate a dollar to PayPal or two dollars to the Patreon. Uh, with that said, love, truth, peace, freedom, justice. No more talk. Peace and love. Bye bye.